All right, what a beautiful day to be out on my backyard scale trail course. Check it out. Guys, this is my Chevy Blazer. All custom hand painted, weathered down, getting close to the Halloween season. So I got Captain Spaulding, of course, in there running this beast truck. And what do I mean by that? Check out the motor on the inside. It's a giant T8, one, uh, one eight scale racing motor from Tekin powered by a Gen 2 RX8 uh, ESC. It's running on a 3S LiPo today and some of you Keeners may have noticed that this is also the Hilux chassis I have, the Trailfinder 2, and with my portal axles that I recently installed. Half of you are shaking your fists at the screen right now saying, how dare you put uh, Toyota axles onto a Chevy with portal axles. But you know what? RC is just about imagination. And heck, these axles actually come with this truck kit from RC Four Wheel Drive. So. I got my wife in the background. Say hello, Jem. Hello, Jem. <laughs> She's going to be filming for me today. I want to see how, uh, this is my first run of the portal axles. Check it out. You can see on the back, just in case you missed the video on what portal axles are. There, now you can see. And of course, for those that were wondering from that video, I want to say I did reverse my motor polarity. Uh, so I do have the right direction of my uh, wheel spin. And I should have mentioned that in yesterday's video, but I'm covering it now. Shall we get started? Let's do this. All right, we might as well start our journey going up today. This will be a good test on my uh, tires here. You can see as I start to climb the first obstacle, the front goes up no problem. Am I gonna get traction right away? Nope, back tires start to slip. So I'm gonna wiggle my tires slowly at the front to get front traction, which pull me over. Going straight up, notice all my awesome scale tools in the background for Captain Spaulding. This is so he can take care of any problem. He might have a very <laughs> busy night. <laughs> There we are, up and over. Oh, I gotta be careful here of a roll, come around the side. Check out the old monster truck tire there. I may fall down and have a roll unless I turn into this. It's a big, heavy truck, but look at this. Plenty of flex in the back axle. What a beautiful shot. Going in a little bit of tire roll, not too bad. Coming down the other side, a nice controlled descent. A little throttle there. Oh yeah, pulled it off. <laughs> the captain had it. Okay, so let's talk about these portal axles. This definitely raised the uh, pumpkin housing of my differential on the axles, giving me a higher clearance. Nice, even on the slippery rock on that one side. Look at the twist. I still kept my leaf spring suspension in the front, even though I am running these red, uh, softer leafs. Plus I'm only running two of those leafs in the suspension. In the back, a complete four link suspension. Oh, I'm getting twisted up. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Oh, look at the clearance right there is where the portal axle is helping me. Those two gears, 15 tooth each, doing a lot of load sharing on turning these tires, helping out that stub axle. Are you still in low gear? Oh yeah, low gear. Oh, I love the climb. Turning into it, taking a difficult line. Let's switch to the other side so I can see. Getting those tires up. The secret really is getting my wheels over there. Grabbing bite with that passenger tire. There we go. The art of the slow crawl, my friends. Oh no, I took a bad roll on that rock. Okay, backing it up. Oh, we might be in trouble here. Mm -mm. Oh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Oh, yes. Look at that, beautiful. Despite the fact you've got Captain Spaulding in there, it's yeah. a beautiful truck. <laughs> <laughs> Up and over. Oh no, oh, no touchy. Can I recover? Oh, so close to rolling over, come on. Oh, oh. got it though. That was a fail, that's okay though. Learn from my mistake, can I still pull this off? Okay, a simple rollover was very helpful. Okay, out we go. Here's
Here's where high clearance is going to help me over the huge log. Belly clearance, got it. Also some good tires for the grip and here's some flex. There, good, good, good. Here we go into a side hill area. Now this is where you want to have a stiffer suspension because if you have a heavier body, look at this, I'm on an angle plus I'm having to do the ascent. You can really mess up your center of gravity and go for a sideways tumble. Look at that, I almost did it right there. Here we go, kind of planning my line where my back tire is going up at the same time as my driver's tire. There, beautiful flex suspension. Really into an axle twisting area in the ascent. Up, up, up. A lot of people would be asking me why I have a T8 racing motor in here. And really it's for ample torque plus wheel speed when I want it. I love mm. the slow crawl, digging a hole in the front. Here we go with that wheel speed, still in low gear. Nice. Yeah, didn't need too much, but it definitely worked. Let's keep going. Cresting the hill, kind of give it a bit of a twist here for you guys. Check it out. There we go, don't have to worry about it going over. This is what I like about a front leaf sprung suspension as well as the four link in the back end. It's through Skull Mountain, very appropriate. Oh, my mirror just clears. Coming down, can't see it at a steep angle. Jem's doing a great job though, I can see the viewfinder. It looks fantastic, what a great looking rig today. Beautiful blue background. Gem. Oh, nice. Yeah, good job. You know, I love the power through. <laughs> Look, climbing with no problem. Oh, here we go. As soon as I open my mouth, it gives the problem, I thought. Okay, a little more wheel speed, not too much. Yeah. Try and hop it. Well, look at it. I'm eating the, eating the bark log there. And then you got this little problem right here, too. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. I'm not giving up. This is why we built it. Test the ability. Make it hard. Come on, Spalding. Oh. If I can get that front passenger Old. tire up there, I can do this. See, rock's not attached. Yeah, totally rocking around. <laughs> <laughs> there, good. Good. Still doing it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we might have oh this my gosh. beat. What a beautiful rig, guys. Check it nice out. Nice job. So this is just simply a modified RC four-wheel drive trail finder two. Oop. That's me just being heavy on the throttle. That rear suspension flex really, really well done. It's balanced very well. Mm -hmm. let's, let's take a chance and go down the beam. Show them the beam for yeah. those that haven't seen this before. This is actually an unbalanced beam, really meant to articulate my suspension flex. Oh, let's see, I've never done it backwards before. <laughs> I think it's about time we did. I see that my back tires are not lined up. Now this is mm, gonna pose a problem. Tricky. I'm getting a bit of tire fold. As long as I get that back tire, I did, I got it on. Now I've gotta start turning back on to the onto the unbalanced beams as a scale fall. That's a For you kids foot. out there, if you wanna know what the definition of precarious is, <laughs> is this would be it. That, oh my goodness! Totally don't roll I'm just off. gonna move oh. out of the way. <laughs> gotta back it up a little bit here. I'm in a very scary spot. Very, very appropriate for Spalding to be doling out the scary spots with his driving. Oh, I can't turn the servo. It's under a lot of stress right oh, now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Just trying to get that front tire to turn. Oh my God. Oh I got my it. God. Got it. Nice and calm. I don't want this body to, this body kit itself is quite expensive, especially with that paint on it. I would hate to see it smashed. So only the best driving will do. So Despite the it. fact the body looks like it's beaten up. That's extra. <laughs> There's no cracks in it. That was a beautiful run. I always like to switch it up a little bit, you know, try not to do the same obstacles over and over for you guys. Really, this gives us a better look uh, at the scale appearance of this truck, except for the giant buckets in the background. <laughs> Regardless. The very large, very large buckets. Yeah, here we go, climbing up here. Jen, what do you think of this truck? Is it fairly you know, beastly? It's beautiful. It's a heavy truck and it's like buying ripped jeans. It's beautiful, it's expensive. <laughs> it works really well and it's super fashionable, so I love it. 
It's functional for yeah. me. I'm glad. I guess that fits into the same category. There. Oh, I'm getting high centered of all things on the dirt hill at the end, hey? I love these old kind of Chevys, though. They're just, they're beautiful. The they show really style, well. Hey, oh, classic. You know, even when on the road, it's a little distracted driving for me. When I see them, I do stop and turn my head. Well, we should start hunting for one of these, hey? Eh? Would you <gasps> like that? I'd love one of those. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so guys, what do you think? Do you like the, the cage type of vehicles, mm -hmm. or do you like more of the box style old classics? Let us know in the video comment section down below. We always do our best to read and respond uh, to the comments for the first 30 minutes of new release and of course the first 24 hours really so get them in while we can we'll have a look at them and we'll see you in the next episode of rc adventures see you later go outside and have fun with rc you know we do bye